Hi there, this is Molly. Welcome back to my channel. And we're going to take a look at the upcoming Aquarius full moon that will be exact August 15th, 2019. It is occurring at 8.30 a.m. That is Eastern Daylight Savings Time. So be sure and adjust for your time zone and your location on the planet. Now, every full moon is when the moon is at the opposite point in the sky as the sun. So we have here the moon at 22 degrees of Aquarius and 24 minutes, opposing the sun at 22 degrees of Leo, 24 minutes. And you'll notice that Venus is exactly conjunct uh, at 22 degrees of Leo, 45 minutes. Uh, for most of August, in fact, Venus has been traveling within two or three degrees orb of the sun. So at this point in the middle of August, we have a very bright illuminating energy around what you love, what matters to you, and what you are truly tapping into around your uniqueness, your light, your ability to love yourself and be yourself. The Leo energy is a fire sign, it's a fixed sign, and it's about the development of self, the risks we take to become ourselves, the courage to be yourself, the understanding of who you are, and the will, the will and force to be oneself. Now, this energy is receiving an opposition from the full moon at 22 degrees of Aquarius. And this is a observer energy where you step back from your ego and you look at the bigger picture of Aquarius. You look at the environment, the scenery, the situations you're in with objectivity. Aquarius is an air sign, also a fixed sign, very cerebral, and a visionary. So there's an opportunity here to check in with where you're going, with where you're taking this sense of self and looking at the way ahead. What is possible when you look beyond the horizon, when you look up and beyond what's right in front of you, when you look outside of yourself? Because that Leo energy can be very focused on itself to the point of narcissism or overly self-involved. The full moon is reminding you that you're part of a much bigger energy field. And are you tapping into that? The illumination comes when you see how your unique gifts and what you've been learning and loving about yourself can fit into the cosmic picture in a higher way. So the Aquarius energy is about the whole, the whole systems, the ways that everything can come together and have systems within systems, uh, the, the structures around us, uh, how society is organized. Uh, this is also the energy of tapping into what is bigger than oneself because Aquarian ideals are associated with giving back, uh, doing something for humanity, doing something that supports the bigger community of humanity, the bigger, the bigger picture. So there's this sense of step out of yourself and look at this point in your chart, 22 degrees of Aquarius, and look at where you're being asked to shine a light, the full moon's light, on this area of your life to bring yourself into greater balance. That's one of the gifts of every full moon is that you're able to bring into balance uh, perhaps what you didn't realize was out of balance. So every full moon is an opportunity for greater consciousness as the light of the moon shines on what has been unconscious. So this uh, lunar energy will be exact on August 15th and the moon will move along and it will reach 28 degrees uh, later in the day on August 15th and when it gets to 28 degrees is when it will oppose Mars at 28 degrees of Leo. Mars and 
the opposition of the moon, especially in Aquarius, can be a disagreement, a fight. Uh, you want something one way, somebody else wants it another way. It can be a standoff in the fixed signs. Um, it can be a realignment between that lunar feminine and the Mars masculine. And what can we do together to create to create something together? But before you reach that point, there's usually some type of disagreement. So just keep that in mind that it could be a little bit a little bit more discussion is needed and that is one of the strengths of uh, the moon in Aquarius is that there's a need to talk about it, think about it, let's find a new way through this, a new solution. So just keep that energy in mind during this full moon. Now another thing that stands out to me with the full moon is an aspect that we can overlook but is still quite strong in this chart. So as I mentioned, we have the Sun and Venus conjunct at 22 degrees of Leo, and they're actually making what's known as a quincunx or in conjunct to Pluto at 21 degrees of Capricorn retrograde. Now an in conjunct or quincunx is when the planets are 150 degrees apart and they don't have much in common. There's a discomfort here. And again, going back to that Leo energy of what you desire, what you want, what you're creating, and who you are, you could be trying to figure out where all of that fits, where this creative force, where this uh, desire to do something your way, where does this fit in the bigger picture of what's unfolding and in the reality of your life right now? And so this, this in conjunct sets up some kind of discomfort that can be hard to resolve at this time. Where you're aware of your talents and your gifts, that's also the moon in Aquarius, how you're different, but also how you're connected uh, to, to the world at large. This is a moon of individuation, of rebellion, of I want to do it my way, and that's what I'm going to offer. The moon, uh, however, at the in the third deacon of Aquarius is a mature, mature moon, which understands that when I am myself and I give back to something bigger than me, I contribute my unique energy in a way that's acknowledged and understood. So this moon is at 22 degrees, a master number in the third deacon, is meant to be more mature. And this can help with the perspective of knowing where your gifts fit into the bigger picture, the bigger picture of the world and what is changing around us, uh, the, the energies that are above us, beyond us, bigger than us. Pluto is, of course, the evolutionary force of energies. It's what we deeply feel and understand is unfolding that's advancing humanity, advancing our consciousness, advancing our soul growth. And in Capricorn, of course, it's also quite realistic, real world. Uh, it's about consequences, responsibility, integrity, how you show up in the world. So there's, an, there's this interesting discomfort here between perhaps what you see is happening around you and wondering where you fit in, where your gifts, your talents, your creativity, your energy is supposed to go. A lot of August, these first two weeks have been very inspiring and creative and fiery with lots of Leo energy. Plus, uh, we have Chiron in Aries and Jupiter in Sag. So there has been a lot of fire in the sky. And this full moon could bring up something around what am I supposed to do with all this? Because there could be an inner power struggle or there could be a real discomfort between how you're known, what you're doing now professionally, what you've always done, what has mattered to you, where you have expertise and mastery versus 
what you're creating next and what you're doing next. So this full moon is cracking open some more energies to I'm, I'm just I'm I'm listening I, I channel as I do these and so what I'm feeling is that you're cracking open some more of your own perceived limitations about who you think you are in the world and you're meant to follow the fire of Leo the creative spark the desires you know what's in your heart you're meant to follow this even as it comes up against this Pluto energy of not being sure where it's going to go yet. And actually, by the end of August, these planets will all have moved into Virgo. They will all be a stellium in Virgo. And they're going to line up the sun and the moon will be conjunct in Virgo, trining Uranus at six degrees of Taurus. So hold tight, basically, because this is a time of the creativity and the inspiration and the knowing who you are, the grounding it, the feeling it, the really integrating it into yourself. And then by the end of August, there's going to be the practical application of how to go about your next steps when all planets, uh, these personal planets, are all in Virgo, trining Uranus, and that's when the map or the path forward is going to be much clearer. So don't let this inconjunct or discomfort create despair or doubt or take you out of the reality that you're looking to create next which, by the way, um, could have happened about five days before this full moon because when the sun was at 17 degrees of Leo, it made it in conjunct to Neptune at 17 degrees of Pisces. Again, that in conjunct is when the two signs don't have much in common. And it could have felt like you were ready to create something and make it happen. You felt strong and clear and ready to go. And then this Neptune and Pisces just took it away. Something could have been discouraging, uh, could have been a giving up, or it's too hard, I don't want to do it anyways, a despair. And again, that would, have, that would be around August 10th. So the middle of August is a test of your own will and strength in yourself regardless of external external energies or circumstances and that's where you're going to continue to gather and gain more strength is through the leo development of confidence courage and knowing that your gifts and how you're here to offer them fits into the bigger whole, the bigger picture. So as always, with the full moon, you're looking at where 22 degrees of Aquarius is in your chart for what is being illuminated in you. And after it's illuminated, it can also be integrated and show you a path or a way forward uh, which is one of the gifts of Aquarius. Uh, it's also connected with quantum potentials, the multiverse, uh, universal timelines and time jumping. Um, it's the quantum field. So what's really interesting, what I'm hearing now, is how if you were to focus too much on trying to fit something into this current reality that's deeply, permanently changing, it won't fit. You're supposed to think bigger. You're supposed to go beyond and go into the quantum field of potentials and possibilities. And it feels really dynamic. 
It feels really dynamic. So trust that. Okay, trust that um, the energy that's being developed and strengthened in you throughout Leo season absolutely has a place. And the other strong energy here is how Mercury at four degrees of Leo is approaching this exact square to Uranus at six degrees of Taurus retrograde. And so this square is saying, think different. Think in a whole new way. Look at where you've perhaps become too stagnant or stuck. The other thing that's important about this exact energy coming in is that Mercury is finally leaving its retrograde shadow. Mercury stationed retrograde at four degrees of Leo. So here it is busting out of its shadow phase with a busting out energy from Uranus at six degrees of Taurus. And this is the fresh new possibilities and potentials that you weren't ready for yet. You weren't ready for because that Mercury retrograde had to go back into Cancer and look at the emotions and feelings underneath that were driving you, that were hidden, that were unconscious. And hopefully over the past two months, you have cleared out a lot. And now this moon, excuse me, this Mercury and Leo moves forward and gets electrical shocks from Uranus and Taurus um, to see it differently. And again, if you've been stagnant or stuck, this is something that could set you free. Now, these are both fixed signs, right? So there's an understanding that there could be something you've held very close uh, that you thought had to be the way. You thought you had to do it a certain way. And Uranus uh, is saying to open up. Uranus is also the higher octave of Mercury. Mercury is the personal communication, the human mind. Uranus is the cosmic mind and universal intelligence. So our human our human faculties are getting a strong burst of energy here that can bring about greater clarity during this full moon. Very dynamic full moon and it feels like a lot about August is shifting us, is shifting us into these new potentials, these new possibilities, and also shifting you into more of who you really are. So I'll be back soon with that next Virgo new moon video, and we'll talk about all of the earth energy in that lunation and where you're meant to make the most of it as well. So thank you so much for your subscribes, your likes, your comments, and for sharing this video. I so appreciate it, and I hope that this has helped you understand how the energies might be working with you as we move through August. Take good care, and I'll see you back here soon.